A railroad passenger ferry trading between Dover and Calais arrives at Zeebrugge. She has two main vehicle decks and allows simultaneous vehicle access to both the decks when connected to the deck ramp at Dover and Calais. Her service speed is 22 knots and can carry a maximum of 1,400 persons. Richard, the assistant bosun, opens the bow door. As there is only a single level access ramp at Zeebrugge, water ballast is pumped into the bow tanks to facilitate loading. The bosun relieves Richard, and he goes to his cabin and falls asleep. The vessel completes cargo work, and departure stations are called. The bosun, on hearing the call, leaves for the departure stations. The status of the bow door is not checked by the bosun. Richard is not awakened by the harbor station's call. The chief officer, Mr. Sam, on hearing the call for the harbor stations, departs from the car deck for the bridge. He doesn't feel it necessary to check the bow door. The vessel increases speed and the bow wave begins to build. Water breaks over the main car deck through the open door and enters the deck. The water flows from end to end and side to side with ease as the vehicle deck did not have any subdividing bulkheads. The vessel becomes unstable and lists to 30 degrees to port almost instantaneously. Seconds later, she capsizes and settles on the sea with the starboard half of her hull above water.